Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Programming Cheat Sheet and uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, design patterns. So uh, let's move towards the uh, you know topic we are going to study today. So basically, uh, generally uh, design patterns basically are the general repeatable solution to commonly occurring problems in software design. So basically design patterns are made by different professionals uh, who have you know who have uh, came up with the solutions to the commonly occurring problems the, during the development of and during the development and design of software solutions so uh, that's how uh, the design patterns uh, came into being then uh, there are so many design patterns there are abstract factory singleton mvc all these design patterns uh, have their own significance and usage and scenarios in which these can be used. Today we are going to talk about singleton pattern. Uh, basically it's a design pattern in which only single instance of a class can be uh, created and that single instance can be shared between you know different situations and uh, uh, you know resources. So uh, that's the basic uh, concept behind singleton pattern uh, uh, if we can we can actually observe this kind of uh, behavior in our system uh, you know uh, desktop uh, applications for example uh, i can you know give an example of this uh, uh, app known as slack okay uh, if i you know open it As you can see, uh, the app is has been opened, and only single instance uh, can be uh, displayed on the screen right now. If I'm going to click this uh, uh, application again, again the same instance uh, has been popped up and displayed on the desktop. As you can see in the ta uh, task uh, taskbar, uh, you can only see a single instance. So this this is the basic example of a singleton pattern that only single instance of this application can be uh, you know uh, can execute uh, on the de on the desktop on your laptop. So this is a very common example. I have also uh, written a program through which we can uh, traverse. Uh, uh, traverse through the code and we can develop an understanding that uh, how singleton pattern works so uh, basically uh, uh, I'm you know I'm using uh, node JS here and uh, I've made uh, classes and a test program through which I will I'm going to demonstrate that how singleton pattern is working so basically what I have done here uh, by the way uh, I'm using uh, uh, Visual Studio code um, uh, code that it's a very good IDE then uh, uh, in order to you know implement it practice it you have to first in install node.js on your compu uh, computer which can be uh, downloaded from their official website uh, so that's the only prerequisite of uh, this uh, programming example once you have uh, the IDE and the node.js installed in your system you can directly practice this example so what we have here is uh, what I've done is uh, we have created a class that is known as a private singleton. Okay, and in its constructor, we are initializing uh, an, an attribute message with uh, the string I am an instance. Okay, so this class is complete here. Then we have second class, uh, it's, it is known as the class singleton, and it has a constructor which is throwing an error use singleton dot guest guest get instance so it is throwing an error it will uh, we one uh, cannot directly create an object of singleton class then there is a static method get instance okay and uh, in get instance uh, we have uh, you know we uh, we checked that uh, singleton dot instance is available the object of singleton dot instance is available or not and if not then it will create a new object of private singleton class which we have uh, you know uh, declared uh, on the top so it has created uh, you know a new object and when the object is created the constructor will be called and what would be stored in the message uh, would be i am an instance then it simply return this uh, you know instance uh, when the, this function will be called. Uh, we made this function static because it, it should be directly accessible 
you know without creating an uh, object that's why uh, we we have we are creating uh, uh, this method as static simply in, uh, at the bottom we have mod, uh, we have you know module dot uh, module dot exports and we have mentioned the class name here we exported that class simple then uh, i have created another file which is that uh, which i have named test.js in this uh, file uh, what i have done uh, i have uh, uh, created a singleton constant uh, variable and uh, what have been imported uh, exported from here is has been imported here required here then uh, i have created an object constant object which is calling uh, that method get instance when we call this method the pro uh, you know the execution uh, chain would move here and the the instance would be returned by this function get instance so what we have here in the object is uh, uh, is that that message basically if we use you know if we console dot log object object dot message then we can find out that uh, i am in an instance would be displayed uh, as an output because i am an ins instance uh, is the default value uh, uh, when we create uh, an object of private singleton class so uh, here we have that instance we have consoled uh, uh, log it then uh, after you know uh, we are changing that message object of message has been assigned a new value which is foo bar now basically if the instance is, is uh, shared then the actual value which is i am an instance would be replaced by this uh, new value the, which is foo bar then again we are creating uh, you know a new instance and we calling the same method singleton dot get instance and then we are uh, using console log in order in order to see the output what we have found out that yes the the instance the message the content of the message has been changed and it has been now uh, converted to foo bar so this is how we can implement singleton pattern in node js uh, uh, let me execute this program and check that uh, what would be the output uh, we have uh, first we have a console log statement here and it will print out i am an instance so as you can see we have this uh, text here then uh, again we are calling the same method using uh, get instance and uh, after changing uh, you know after changing the message we are again uh, calling uh, the method get instance and we are simply uh, as you know uh, using console log in order to print it out and here we have foo bar displayed it means that yes we are using single instance of an object and when that single inst the content of that single instance is changed it will be changed at a single entry point so uh, that's about it uh, i hope uh, the things got uh, things have been clear to you guys uh, see you uh, on my next video